it's not very common to stumble across a good fighting game when we are talking about free-to-play. Besides a few PvP arena games, there's really nothing even remotely comparable to something say like Tekken or Soul Calibur. Well, there's a game called Soul Calibur Lost Worlds, but that's really far from a good game and it's busier loading than being played. Let's be honest here. Anyways, so it's funny that we're talking about Bandai Namco games, since our focus is the upcoming brawler from the Japanese studio, Rise of Incarnates. There's actually quite a bit to be excited about this game, even at this stage of development. So fighting fans, join us as we go through our top 5 very good reasons why you should keep an eye out for it. FreeMMOStation.com Bandai Namco's Tekken and Soul Calibur Experience There aren't many studios known for having great fighting game series, let alone two. Tekken and Soul Calibur have been around for quite a while and many players still have really fond memories of the first games. While Rise of Incarnates isn't exactly the same game as any of the above, knowing that it's the same studio working on it gives us the necessary confidence and to anticipate great clashes. It is two decades of experience put to the test in this game and we're hoping that in the end, it's gonna show. 2v2 Battles In Rising the Carnets, you're not just fighting against another player. You have a partner to help you out, arrange strategies, and execute some truly badass combos on unsuspecting victims. This adds another layer to the gameplay and guarantees that at least something is always happening in the arena, even if you're just laying low for a bit while you rethink your strategy. You're not alone, so you have to act like a true team if you want to defeat your enemies. Obviously, the more chain moves you manage to do, the more health you're going to suck out of the opposing team. Usually, all in a pretty awesome manner, with characters pretty much just flying all over the place. 3D Arenas Fighting games that come with a fixed 2D perspective are all well and good, but nothing is like having full 3D control of the characters. Rise of Incarnates allows you to do so, even adding some nice verticality to the mix. Really, it's like taking dynamic movement of games like Nosgoth or Battlecry and making it mostly about the melee. Sure, there's more than just melee in this game, but it's still a fighting game at its heart, as Bandai Namco described it, with the 3D arenas taking action one step further. Locations known so far are Paris, London, New York, San Francisco, always with some destroyed version of a landmark such as Times Square or Arc de Triomphe. Crazy cast of characters At the time we're making this, Rise of Incarnates has a cast of six characters revealed, each pretty much crazier than the other. Jadric, for instance, turns into demonic and violence-prone Mephistopheles, while Dr. Gasper can turn into the Grim Reaper himself and command a zombie horde. Aaron Deerquin can use a Tron-like cycle to wreak havoc, and Kruger pilots a multi-legged tank to bring his egotistic worldwide revolution to good terms. His terms. We truly hope Bandai Namco can keep improving on this crazy roster and surprise us with stuff that we've never seen in a fighting game before. Medea. Hey guys, we've got nothing against a bit of fan service in our fighting games. In fact, we're pretty much all for it. As long as the game's good, we're cool. Medea is shaping up to be one of the fan favorites, and we do mean shape. Don't you agree? So guys, we are just a little bit worried about the balancing of all these different, very, very different fighters. But the developer surely has the track record to handle such a task, right? Hopefully, this will be a little, little bit better than Anarchy Reigns, for example. It definitely has the potential to be, fingers crossed. And allow us to ask, are you excited for this game? Please let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe to Free MMO Station for more hype of the upcoming free-to-play games.